Welcome back. This is Paula, and I am going to follow up on our last video uh, that we at the that we did the um, we didn't have time to do this tag on our last video, and so I I had it tied with some uh, seam binding that I dyed. I want you to well I'll tie it on when we're done looking. Anyway, basically, it's a 1930s um, postcard, and I used some Tim Holtz paper, and it says, Merry Christmas to you all. I used dictionary paper on top of the, the uh, cheesecloth. Then this is some Sorry Seal Killer. I just, here, I just crunched up, and I, sometimes I type out words, you know, that I might use somewhere, and I uh, just put Christmas tree since the story is the Christmas tree that grew. So it has journaling paper on the back because this is a busy print. It also has it on the inside. And I just wanted you guys to get to see what I did with it. And it, you just put your seam binding, depending on what your paper color is, through here. Now, I personally, um, I'm sorry, I'm having to pull it back to get it in to the hole because my fingers don't like me anymore. Let me, well, good grief. I hope you guys are having good weather where you're at. It's pouring rain like buckets instead of drops. <laughs> and every now and then it will thunder and it's that good kind of thunder, you know, that can put you down for a nap. Okay, now, I just took it and made it even and then just tied a knot. Not a knot, just a single tie. And, you know, just stronger though. That way when you open it up, you know, um, it's easy. Okay, that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Um, and this is the second thing. Now, I do have one that I've made already but I'm just gonna let you see the process. So these are these are cards that I'm gonna use today. Um, they sell them in boxes at Hobby Lobby with the card and the envelope, and there's usually multiple designs. And I bought these to use in my junk journals. Um, so I stitched down, I zigzagged down both sides, okay? And this is the fold, and this is open. Okay, and the same with the Santa one. So I am going to push, or I'm gonna lay down the Santa one, his fold is gonna be toward the tree's fold. So you're, you're putting the fold edges basically in the middle, or up, butting them up to each other but leaving a little crack for for when you want to fold it oh and i didn't ink these but i'll ink them i'll ink them when we're done okay um so we do have on this side we have pockets so i'm going to go ahead and take my um my circle punch And try to get it center that was a little bigger than I wanted it to be mostly because I don't like it when it cuts in but it's hard when you're doing it up in the air <laughs> okay the thing about my circle punch is it pinches me every time it it punches it's the weirdest thing I am um, and usually it will go inside instead of underneath. That's why I'm kind of looking to see if it went in there. Okay, so you're gonna put your Santa opening to the outside your pocket and your opening here to the outside. And we're gonna leave a little space. And we're gonna use muslin to hinge these because it, I think it's better than using um, 
stained paper because you know you don't have to deal with the tearing and so forth and I'm gonna go ahead and put some on this side too just need a couple little strips and then we're just gonna take some muslin that I just inked I have some tea stained somewhere but this was handy Okay, and of course I can tell that's not straight, so let's just, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's going in a junk journal. So this is, this one I'm making now is for the next journal, which is going to be Santa Claus, you know, type book. Okay, and of course I'm doing a tree type right now, so the other one has got trees Nope, it doesn't have trees, except on the car. Um, this is the this is the one we're working on. See, here's the muslin. Here's the pockets. I just did index cards and put bling on them. And since it's a tree story about a Christmas tree, I just put a Christmas tree there. And then on the inside, you can see the bling too because I put it on both sides. This is like six sheets of paper. I folded them in half. And then I folded this red stripe in half and then just attached um, the red stripe and the top together. And then I glued it in the book. I didn't want staples to go through. Over here, I just cut a rectangle out and then a half, half circle. Put a, um, a 3D-like embellishment that says Merry Christmas that I just had in my stash. And, and a tiny little card with some of my favorite Christmas ribbon and I actually bought another row of it at Hobby Lobby because I like it so well um, and then it has the red and green twine uh, this is basically what we're making I I wanted something that would fold and we could put paper in that wouldn't be too bulky so that's my goal for this so we're going to turn this over and and do muslin on the other side as well and I'm gonna try not to talk your ear off so we don't get we don't straggle along too much I am after I do this video and my I get this one uploaded and cleared off my phone because I don't have enough memory if I you know when I'm through doing that I am going to work on the mixed media so that one will, depending on when my husband can get it done, that one will be going up late tonight or tomorrow. This one will go up, oh, I don't know. He has to upload it and then he has to process it and all, all that jazz. So um, I'm not positive. I think he's putting it up before the mixed media. I'm glad you got some of you guys commented that you liked to see something different like you know the Copic and the mixed media okay so we have both sides with the muslin I'm gonna take my scissors and just kind of even it up a little bit now you do as much as possible when you butt the two folds of the cards up you you want to try to keep them as straight on both sides so it doesn't look wonky uh, that's my new word for this week wonky anyway um it's it's uh i think it they turned out cute there's not doesn't take a whole lot of creativity to figure it out um except that you know this needs to be the back because it's got that print there so let's just flip it over that was easy enough, huh? Okay, so we've got our hose punched. Uh, next thing we need to do is ink. And I promise I'm fast at it. I'm, I, I just swish that down, get any raw edges real fast, get the circle. And I filled my ink pad today, so, our, you know, I should be good to go on that. Of 
You guys, if you know anyone that watches other channels that's similar, even arts and crafts, or even if they're scrapbookers, um, invite them to come join you here um, and let them know we're going to do a, a giveaway when we, we reach a thousand subscribers. For some reason, my machine decided to just go a little crazy. Now, when it's the back of a zigzag, I always ink over it because it brings these little white bumps up, and I don't like it because it makes it look, I don't know, like someone that didn't know what they're sew sewing or something. Okay. Yeah, and see down here, you can really see it on the white. I mean the black. You can see that white coming through. Of course, the little snowflakes behind him probably adds to that a little bit. Okay, now everything else should be inked. I was so into inking that I forgot to ink the main thing. Okay, so I already pre-cut stuff so we wouldn't have to be forever, but yet could talk our way through it. All right, so we have our muslin hinged. We have our circles punched. Have it inked. The next thing we're gonna do is cut out a rectangle. And I didn't measure it, you're just gonna measure it to fit on your pocket. That's the main thing. And um, I'm going to put it on this side because this side's gonna be uh, almost completely covered. But uh, and I wanted the Santas to show for the new Santa book that we're doing next. Find my glue. That's how messy my desk is, guys, you know. <laughs> it's like, what'd I do with it? Uh, it'd be right in front of me. Um, all right, right now I have a bunch of ink on my desk for some reason. That's crazy. Okay, so you're just gonna do three sides so that it can become a, and I love, love, love this stripe. Don't ask me why. It definitely reminds me of candy canes. Um, and the children hang candy canes in this book. So um, I have, in the embellishments, I've added a, a few little handy canes, candy canes. Um, I didn't do a lot of the uh, embellishments for this book on uh, YouTube, mostly because um, I knocked them out yeah, you know, pretty quick. And I, when I got down to the last few, I was like, I need to show them some other things I'm gonna do. I, I didn't forget about you, at, not at all. Um, but I just wanted to make sure um, everything was well. All right, so. I know they're supposed to be a title there. I'll just have to pull it out of my box. All right, so we have this ready. I just have it paper clipped down and I'll show you. It's just striped paper with the outside inked and this is just coffee stain paper that I folded over and shoved up real good and then I shoved this over it, this red and white stripe. Make sure that the same amount's hanging off on both sides. And then I, I'm gonna get my tiny attacher and all will be good. I put one on the end, one in the middle, and one on the other end. I thought that was cute. And it just gave it more texture, which I, you know how I am about that. So I'm gonna glue just this part on the top not the paper, just just the border at the top we made. All right, if you get any down there, just kind of wipe it off. I didn't actually get it on there. Um, my glue is so stringy, at, it's at that stringy stage. All right, so I'm gonna move it over just so it doesn't cover up the punch, but yet yeah, stays on this side of the the um, 
cards. So I'm just going to hold that for a second. So we went to dinner with my daughter and her husband and um, my oldest granddaughter last night and um, and my little grandson. Um, anyway, and of course, he th my grandson thinks he has to have steak every time he goes in there. He just... He absolutely loves Charleston's is where we went. That child, he will eat that that steak like he, you know, like <laughs> crazy. You know, he'll chew it up and then he eats all his fruit and it just he just cracks me up. Okay, so I'm gonna put that Santa on somewhere, but I'm gonna find uh, something to put here. A whole crud. I just realized I found one that says the Christmas tree. That's interesting. I might use that in this book, my other book, somewhere. So, um, I love this look. I don't know how it looks on there. We'll ink it up and then it, it will stand out more, right? We don't have to have a title. We don't need a sentiment. We'll make our... I mean, everybody knows as this is the family coming home from getting the Christmas tree. And I just put it in the center. I was looking to see if there was anything I could put like a season's. I've got a season's greeting here. Or fa la 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 la. Let's use the fa la la la. That way, you know, they could be singing carols inside the car. <laughs> Me and my imagination. If we were traveling with our kids, we would have been. We would have been doing anything to keep everybody happy. You know how that is if you have kids. I had to go get glue off of. Now, I think I'm just going to put it straight under him so that it looks balanced. And I'm going to pull it this way as much as I can. Because I really didn't, I, it's not really, I'm not going for perfection, but I like it to kind of, yeah, that's good. That's a squishy, what do you call them, puffy sticker. Oh, that one is too. Fun. All right, there we go. There's the paper up close. Now, we're gonna make a tag to go in there and I've inked it and I've just tied some red twine on it. And the next thing we're gonna do is just glue some of the ribbon. This is the ribbon that goes across uh, the spine. Um, so, I don't think you guys have seen it since I've, I just um, did the binding today and um, I'm real close to being done with it. And then it will be in my Etsy shop, hopefully before the weekend's over. Okay, so this is just really pretty because it looks like you've deliberately put the glitter on the ribbon. So pretty. <laughs> get this this is the funny part of this I've had it forever and when I went to Hobby Lobby to get glue today of course they had all their embellishments on sale and I just went over to grab some things and there it set and I was like oh my goodness I love that I am gonna get another row just in case of course it was half price so there's the tag simple but glitzy. So we're gonna slide this into the pocket. And the, the one I made before, I made a smaller pocket, but really I think this size pocket is the best for this book. Now I'm gonna flip it over to these Santas here and um, 
I don't want to just set him flat down there because I'm looking to see if I have some muslin or something around that I can stick under him. Because I, with him be with Santa being the, um, here's some, we'll just do some dictionary. Uh, with Santa being the, you know, like the background, just doesn't look right to me. So I'm getting a big blob of glue off my arm. Of course, I pull myself across the glue. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what it's shaped like because I'm just gonna put it at an angle and trim off whatever. And then I don't have to worry about it. I don't know why this ink pad, I've been filling it, but it doesn't really, it's not acting like they normally act when you first do it. I guess maybe I wasn't pushing down hard enough. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna also, I think I'm gonna ink the Santa a little bit too. I've seen this same Santa on several videos I've watched. I think everybody has this. You get, I think like 10 in a package or something, but hey, whatever works, you know. I'm gonna lean this over and then kind of put him straight, I think. So our, our text will be kind of hanging out here. Yeah. I just didn't want him down on his, on, laying on a face of a Santa. I don't know how much of this I need, so I might have to add some to the edges. Or we may get lucky and it be perfect. I always try when I make anything, I always try to make uh, more than one because now I think ahead as to what I, you know, what I used, what I was going, what I'm going to do next and, um, Pretty much between now and Christmas, I might, there's one book I might, other than my design team projects, um, will probably be mostly Christmas. And I, I can tell you right now, I'm ready to move on to spring. <laughs> but got to get through winter. I am going to do a winter album. I mean, a junk journal. You guys should make me pay a dollar every time I say that into a jar. And then we could, we could draw for it. I'm just kidding, but oh my goodness. It's just years of habit. I definitely know what the difference is. Okay, so we can't go with all this stuff sticking out. So I'm just going to flip this over and trim this bottom part off. That's what I love about Tim Holt's big scissors. They, um... They, they cut right through glue and everything else. Add a little bit of ink there and there. I just like that it's easy, but it, it, it has its opinion, you know? It's like, I know I look cool. All right, now I gotta grab the bling, which I put out on the table. Wouldn't shock me if Sadie didn't take off with it. Nope, here it is. All right, so now we're going to do, put the bling on here, and I'm going to cut eight doubles off of here, and not eight, four doubles, <laughs> and, and then I'll center them with the pockets. Man, they haven't sewed this all the years that I scrapbook. And really, I didn't even discover it until I started doing junk journals. And I really like it. Okay. I have it in every single color. I'm sure you guys do too. 
All right, so I'm just going to line them up like that for now, and then I'll put them underneath the um, the pocket circles so that we get them in the right spot. Oh my goodness, getting this backing off. Why do they always make it so difficult? It's like it's, if you pull too much, you pull the whole backing off. There we go, finally. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one in this pocket here. Slide it in as far down as I can so that I'll know where to put the bling. Move these scissors out of my way. Okay. Yeah, and you can tell my pocket's off. Again, I'm not a measuring type person. That doesn't bother me. Now, if it was on a dress or <laughs> something crazy like that, I might be a little worried about it. Okay. Get my hands on it. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now, because of time, I'm not gonna worry with the other side until after the video, but you, you know what I'm talking about. And then you can just slide it down flush and you have, you know, and see, it's flat. Look how flat. I just think it's cute. And if you wanted to put a pocket back here, you could. And, um, you know, it depends on what I'm doing. You can always add that later, you know. All right, so um, I think that we, we did... Um, Trying to think what we did last. We did the deck, the halls. Okay, I'm gonna move this over for a second. I'm not gonna go super long, only around 30 minutes, so that I can do the mixed media before it's late. Okay, I'm gonna undo this and show you what I'm gonna do. I don't like these flaps, so I'm gonna cut them off. And hopefully it won't run the way it looks. I just think we could ink over it and we'd be fine. We're fixing to find out. I know you guys were probably screaming at me in the comments. Get rid of those flaps. They look weird. I thought they looked weird too. You know, I they started off in a better shape. And then because they weren't looking great, I had to even them up. Okay, all we need to do now, see, is um, just ink where we took them off. And if we had known before we put the paper down, see, we could have made the top. Uh, we could have made it into a... No, we couldn't have either because that was an envelope. But you could always add them to the back of the envelope. At least, I think it would. You could. You would be able to do that. Got to put a little bit heavier because you know it's got that raw edge showing. Now this one is for my Christmas book, I believe. I'm gonna see if I can find a tree to put on the front of it. Um, I'm thinking. See, don't you think that looks better? Tell me what you think in the comments. I'm just curious if you guys felt the same way I do. Okay, I, I'm gonna close it, but I want some design on here. And it's not gonna be these flaps. <laughs> the flaps are out of here. Okay, so I've got a bunch of scraps over here and I'm just gonna pull some over and we can decide together. Um, but I want them to have small images, not the big images. We can do some more of that red, but I think we have a lot of this red already in there. So we have, um, oh, that's not what I want. That's a card. Let's see. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, 
Here's some print, which really isn't big enough, I don't think. I'm still looking. Okay, now I'm going to go to the paper pack that I have right here. Oh, here's some more red. This is an old Graphic 45. And I think I called it Tim Holtz earlier when I showed you this tag. It, it's actually Graphic 45. And it's an old Christmas one. Um, I don't see a name on here, though. But I've had this for about five years. So these two won't work because they're not the right size. So I'm thinking, let's just do all, all sides different. And, um, and see what we end up with. I'm going, because I'm not, I think it would look good to have them all different. Um, but I do think having them, like here's a candy cane paper, which I think will be big enough. Let me see. No, not really, but it would be for down here. Because I'm not going to cover the whole page down here. I'm just going to get my pencil and mark where we need to cut. And um, I'll mark each one and then we'll pull the cutter out. If I can get my, get it lined up. Okay, and then down here. Okay, that's for the front. Now, we'll open. We don't need anything here, here, or here. So we'll go to this one. This, we know these words will not work. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. I tell you, everything on this table sticking on, sticking to me. I have found two straight pins on the floor today. All I need is Sadie to get hold of those. Okay, here is a, um, scraps from a Christmas card. So let's put this one on here. Got to get some green in here. And we don't want to use this. So I say we have that be the cutting point at the bottom. And the top right here. Hmm. And about right here. <laughs> I, again, I'm just eyeballing it. And then if we do the very back, let me see what I've got for the very back. Maybe we should use, now I don't know what I did with it. I started to say now we should use the red because it's the very back. I think we will. Okay, and I have a piece that might be perfect, and we're going to make it be perfect. That's awesome. It might not be after I get a hold of it and start cutting on it, but it's so much easier than, than having to drag your cutter, your, your cutter out. And I like this little one, though, because it doesn't like a hog the whole camera. <laughs> okay, now i got to find my little areas that I was going to cut. Okay. It's one down. We know that's the bottom. All right. There is the top. That's what I like about 6x6 six six pads. When you're doing small stuff like this, you get smaller images. And um, I personally think everybody sh should pick up a six by six when they buy. If you're gonna do anything like we do, you know. Oh, I forgot the candy cane, gotta cut the candy cane. Candy cane is gonna be on the front, so. Make sure it's straight. You should see this pile of paper I have over here. 
Well, I totally missed that, Mark. That is so funny. Pencil is hard to see. I've got so much glue on me. Pencil's hard to see on under these lights. Uh, sorry if my big head's getting in. I did fix my hair today, but it is now in a ponytail because like it drives me crazy if I get it have to craft with my hair in my face. Okay, so we've got our pieces cut. I don't know where they're all at, but we've got them cut. There's one. Let's see, I thought we had one more. This one goes on the front. Oh, that's it, we only have three. Okay. And so we just wanna run some ink around them. If you wanted to, and it would look really cute, um, is to zigzag around these before you glue them down. Um, and I might do that, not on video, but I know you guys can visualize what it would look like if we make it, you know, it'd be faux zigzag as far as it's not zigzagged on the, the book itself. It's so funny how you can tell different styles when you're using a newer, two newer papers and then you've got this old Graphic 45. That's all right. And um, so I will be, I already inked that. I will be stitching all these on before I glue them. So this is how the front will look. And you've already seen the other side. Whoops, I don't know where that came, oh, that came from the other side. My little tags do not want to stay in. I think I did bigger tags on the next one, the one we did to, um, last time, because I thought these were too small. All right, guys, well, it was fun getting to visit with you. Um, I'm retired and I'm just at home, you know, and don't see a lot of people. <laughs> Uh, during the week and my my bestie she she works um, watching her grandkids so uh, my sister lives in and in, in another state so you guys are my friends you don't know it but you are <laughs> so tell your friends that you have a new friend and to come on over and watch her videos and subscribe and if you enjoyed today's videos, please give me a thumbs up. It does make a difference with YouTube. And, um, and don't forget to tell everyone so that you can be put in for the drawing. And I'm still thinking on what I want it to be. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys um, in the next video. Hugs to you all. Bye.